Welcome back. In my previous lecture, we learned how to install and set up PostgreSQL 12.2 version from source code. Let's extend on top of it. Before we proceed further, let me create a putty shortcut for this IP address. If I type psql and enter, I am directly connecting to a database interactive prompt. When I say backslash l, I can see databases that exist in the database cluster. In these two steps, I did specify nowhere any user ID or password. Then what is the database user and password it is using to connect by default? By default, it is using a database user account called Postgres. You have a Postgres as an OS user. You have a Postgres as a DB user as well. I don't want something like this happening. I want anybody who connects to a database must supply a password. Before I do that, let me change password of a user. Let me change the password of a user, alter user Postgres with password, password. Now let me go to local apps, PGSQL, data. There is a pg underscore hba host based access configuration file. In one of my future lectures, I would talk in detail about this. For now, consider this file as a host level access control. At a host level, I can deny or allow somebody or a group of IP addresses or a specific region I can block. If you look at the first line here, it is saying all local connections any database by any user just trust I don't want this to be a trust I want this to be taking password let me change it to md5 now let me connect to psql now let me reload the configuration you don't have to stop and start the cluster you can simply run the select command to reload the configuration now let me exit if I type psql and enter you see the change that is happening it is now asking me the password now let me enter the password I have just reset you see now I am able to connect as a Postgres user to a Postgres database you see my current user is Postgres I changed Postgres users local login behavior like this because I would need this in subsequent lectures. That's it for this lecture.